Yo, it's your boy Mo coming at you from my balcony here in Medellin, Colombia. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about the truth about squats, deadlifts, and testosterone. So you've probably heard that doing heavy squats and deadlifts are the best way to increase your testosterone levels. And the reason for this is because studies have found that the more muscle tissue you stimulate within a particular workout, the greater your anabolic response will be directly after the workout is over all right and since squats and deadlifts recruit the most amount of muscle fibers in your body compared to any other exercise the advice that's given out is that uh, doing so will have the most significant impact on your testosterone since it stimulates the most amount of muscle mass but the thing to understand about this concept is that an acute increase in testosterone does not lead to a baseline increase in testosterone so doing a workout might have a 100% increase in your testosterone levels, but it's not like your testosterone will remain elevated at that level long after the workout is over. So the point to understand is that testosterone is not just one number, all right? It fluctuates rapidly throughout the day based on a number of factors, and exercise, of course, is one of them. Now, the second point to understand is that an acute increase in anabolic hormones does not translate to a increase in muscle mass so they did a study in which they brought in two groups of subjects and uh, had them do i think it was three sets or four sets or some amount of sets of exercises i'll link out to the study below but basically they had um the first group rest for 2.5 minutes between each set and the second group rest one minute between each set and what they found was that the group resting for one minute between each set had a greater increase in anabolic hormones after they completed the exercise but what they also found was that the group resting 2.5 minutes between each set had greater amounts of muscle mass increase when they looked at how much the muscle fibers actually increased after the workout was over not directly after but like later on all right so basically the group that rested 2.5 minutes had greater increases in muscle growth despite the fact that they had a smaller increase in anabolic hormones. So the lesson in this study is that acute increase in anabolic hormones does not translate to a increase in muscle mass. What really matters for an increase in muscle mass is progressive overload. And since the subjects that were resting 2.5 minutes were able to adequately recover their muscles between sets and therefore do more amounts of volume with the workout, they experience greater amounts of muscle growth, all right? And greater amounts of muscle growth in the long term would lead to greater amounts of testosterone. So that's a point to understand, all right? That an acute increase in testosterone does not translate to a baseline increase in muscle mass, all right? And that brings us to the third point of this video, and that is to understand the role of androgen receptors in your body. Now, androgen receptors are like the lock, and testosterone is like the key, all right? Only by attaching to an androgen receptor can testosterone actually begin to exert its influence. And as a man, the majority of your androgen receptors are spread throughout your upper body, all right? Your traps, your shoulders, your upper chest. The majority of them this means that these areas of your body are more likely to be influenced by the effects of testosterone this is why when you look at uh, bodybuilders who are injecting the juice they have extremely exaggerated traps they have those 3d shoulders and they have um, very protruding upper chests as well and the reason for this is because as men, the majority of our androgen receptors are spread throughout this area, which means that testosterone is more able to exert an influence. Now, obviously, androgen receptor density is something that varies on an individual to individual basis, but studies have found that as men, the majority of them are spread throughout your upper body. So where am I going with all of this? Well, it means that the uh, testosterone is more likely to exert an effect on your upper body than it is in your lower body. So this means that if you stimulate the muscles of your upper body, they will result in a greater baseline increase in your testosterone levels than if you just stimulate the parts of your lower body, all right? So squats and deadlifts, they're great exercises. Obviously, don't be skipping out on leg day. Don't be skipping out on these two critical exercises. 
although I have not been doing them in the recent past because of injuries that I'm dealing with, I can talk about that in another video. But the bottom line is that if you want to increase your testosterone levels through workout, then the most important thing for you to do is to focus on building your upper body because that is the region of your body that's more susceptible to the influence of testosterone, all right? So the three main takeaways from this video. The first is that testosterone is not just one number. It fluctuates rapidly based on a number of factors throughout the day. So it's not an accurate assessment to judge your testosterone level by any one measurement directly after a workout or something like that, all right? And the second thing is that an acute increase in anabolic hormones does not lead to a long-term increase in muscle mass, all right? This was demonstrated in the study where the subjects are resting longer amounts of time. Although they had a lower anabolic spike, they experienced increases in muscle growth. And long-term testosterone levels will be more influenced by muscle growth than they will be by acute increases in anabolic hormones directly after a workout. And the third point to understand is the role of androgen receptors, which act like a lock. Testosterone is the key. And uh, as a man, the majority of your androgen receptors are spread throughout this region of your body in the upper area. And uh, if increasing testosterone naturally is a priority for you, then you should be focusing the majority of your wo workouts on your upper chest, shoulders, traps, rather than focusing the majority of your workout on squats and deadlifts, all right? This is not to say that you should not be doing squats and deadlifts. They're great exercises for a well-proportioned physique, but don't make it so that your majority of your focus is on your lower body because that is not the best route towards increasing your testosterone. All that being said, this has been Mo Salim from TripleYourT.com and I'll see you soon.